So my name's Karen Hudson. I usually work as a sexual health nurse within Aberdeen Health Village in, in Frederick Street in Aberdeen and I've been redeployed here to the health protection team to help with the, the COVID work and contact tracing. So the contact tracing um, role is going to involve us supporting people who have been in contact, so people who have tested positive for COVID and may be at risk of having caught the virus from that person. And you're Absolutely, confidentiality is the same as it, as it would be with, with anything in the health service. So um, those of us who are going to be involved in it initially have come from NHS backgrounds where we've been involved in our day-to-day -day, um, work involves us being very aware of, of confidentiality and the training of other people who are also coming on board has been important. So I've had some additional training here to, to help me in that role and then to help me train and support other people. There's still ongoing training and support in place. When we're calling people who um, are potential contacts of or are contacts of COVID-19 cases, we want to make that phone call as, as positive and supportive as possible. So there will be a lot of questions. It's a fairly lengthy phone call. So we do try and prepare people for that at the outset to let them know why we're calling, introducing ourselves fully, explaining what our role is and um, giving them a bit of a, a preparation really for what the, the phone call is going to entail. And we'll be asking questions um, about them, where they live, who they're in contact with, um, who they live with. So lots of information about their current living situation. And also we're going to be trying to get people to remember details um, of where they've been, places they've visited, who they've been in contact with for about two days prior to any symptoms happening or from when they would have, have had their, their COVID test completed. So there's lots of information that we're looking for and we'll try and support people best we can um, to kind of gently try and get all that information processed. It can be a lot of information to try and recall and we're very aware of that. Calls are really to get as much information um, as we can about um, people's movements and where there may have been times that it would have been easier for them to transmit the infection to other people. So we want that information to make sure that we can protect us all really in the community. So although the information may feel a little intrusive maybe at times, really asking about movements where they've been prior to the onset of any symptoms and then for the week um, after that, this information is crucial for us to to be able to identify where transmission may, may be happening. We're aware um, very much that when we call people and we're asking them to isolate um, as a result of their result or whether they've been a contact of COVID, that they will have concerns about how they get things managed in their own lives. So they may have caring responsibilities or they may need help to get um, medicines and shopping and other sources of support and financial issues that they may be concerned with. So we have um, an assistance hub in Grampian called the Grampian Coronavirus Assistance Hub and we signpost people to the, the website. There's a telephone number and we can also so post out that information to ensure that people are um, where they don't have a network of support there already, that they know that they are going to be supported throughout the time that they're being asked to isolate. So we would hope that that would allay some anxieties that people have around how they're going to manage in that time.